Operation Reaper. At its core, it is a hostage retrieval, I guess. The, the yes. U.S. are tasked with moving into the police station of Sumari, getting retrieving a hostage, and then getting them to an exfil location. Not missing anything with that? I don't believe so. So that's the gist. What, yeah, that's the gist of it. What uh, what do these guys have to complete their objectives total? Uh, they have so the U.S. has uh, you know their SL and then seven spec ops kits with one medic. And so each of these kits, each so the SL kit and the medic kit are spec ops kits. So everyone in each squad on the U.S. team has a spec op gun, which is pretty cool. Yeah, those uh, those guns with the suppressors. Um, which kit, which spec ops kit has the the C4 or the the? Uh, let me check. I believe. At the same time, uh, one and two. That's BVD and Phoenix. We'll proceed. Yeah, I'm checking right now. Yeah, it's the operator kit. Okay, so th these are different kits, or do these all have the C4, the sapphire charge? Yes, yeah, so the operator kit has the satchel shard. The Ooh. Sark medic does not. Okay. And the special ops SL does not either. So just the operators. So the US is going to have seven operators with seven satchel charges all together. Which is, uh, that's a lot of firepower. Right? So for every operator, is one satchel charge. So that means we get the US gets seven yeah, per squad they get yeah. seven satchel charges. Yes. So they're they're looking at like twenty plus satchel charges. That's gonna Which be is crazy. insane. Yeah. yeah. Oh, more than that too. That's gonna if be they awesome. use them correctly though. That's that's the main thing. If they use them correctly. Yeah, I, I agree. They they yeah. think they're getting set up for a platoon brief. Let's see, yeah. Looks like they are lining up for a platoon brief. Let's go ahead and listen in to Silas as he tries to uh, get his guys situated to let them know how they're going to complete their objective. Copy. Perfect. All right, gentlemen, if you go and open up your maps, take a look. Uh, you'll see your squad's paths marked. Essentially, platoons rolling out for the east of here. All right, first, let's talk about our objective. <clears throat> An enemy terror cell has set up in the police station in Bravo 395. Uh, we're expecting they have some radio jamming equipment, so we're doing a quick night raid to take it out. Uh, we expect them to have reinforcements once contact's made from somewhere, sure, so we're going to keep on our toes and have a widespread. Uh, if you check your maps, you'll see Squad 3 at live is going to be breaking north along the marks through the alleyways. They're going to hit that berm south of the police station before the other two squads do, and they're going to try to push as far east as they can before they uh, start engaging contacts. At that time, uh, squad 1, or we'll skip that, Phoenix, can you remark your route? Squad 2 will be moving on the south road as a screening element for any reinforcements coming in from the south or east. Uh, if they don't take contact on there, they'll be pushing up the river bed, Charlie 3-4, north, and heading the compound from the east side. Uh, Phoenix's squad, squad 1, will be pushing up the alleyways in the center, acting as QRF for 3 or 2 if they come into contact but with the primary goal of reaching that berm that 3 will have occupied and reinforcing them. Once all squads are in position, 3 is going to be a base of fire element, while 1 assaults the southwest of the compound, and 2 pulls up on the east side. Remember, our objective we're looking for is radio jamming equipment. Uh, we expect it to be somewhere in the north side of the compound, but we are not certain. Does anyone have any questions? Great. Squad leads, go and break them out. Prep for live. We got three minutes. That's not a shoot to, to finish them off. And right. we are live. Off of uh, live, we got blue three moving northeast, blue one and two moving southeast, followed by command. Red uh, platoon, red two is on point proper with command, with red one and three moving in from the south, pushing north, clearing through neighborhood. Looks like they're going to beat the U.S. there by a mile. So yeah. uh, might not see any action in there. Now, this might be a good time if the insurgents would actually stop where they are now. Uh, 
Yeah, if they keep going, the U.S. could po potentially flank them. If I were the insurgents, I would have stopped where they are. Yeah, man. And, uh, and looked for that flank by the U.S. At least from my view, it lo looks like they could flank uh, pretty well. Yeah, they may be putting themselves into a position to get flanked. It looks like they're moving through the the alleys. Just they're just trying to get to police station as quickly as possible. Actually, it looks like Red One is moving through the police station or moving to police station to get there as quickly as possible. Red Three right. actually looks like they're trying to camp out. They're they're trying to look. They're looking. They're actively looking for positions to camp out. And I'd like to see them push just a little further west, though. Um, I'm not sure how useful the buildings they're currently in are. Even though you got Boogie here on the roof. Right. Yeah, so it looks like, uh, let me see, Blue 2 and Blue 5 are uh, pushing south. We've got a phone tax soon. The police station down here. Dorf, comms, please. Uh, that wasn't my that On was Phoenix's cameras, he's uh, squad lead for Blue 1 moving east through this little pond area. Uh, They're moving at a down. decent pace. Of really allowing the red team to get set up, what is our way? to get set up where they get want. Site. Let's make sure we get Blue, uh, red one is set up on the north or west oh, of it. police station. Maintain moving red three is south, south of the police station. Blue one or blue team still getting their line in position as they uh, start to move east. Blue two's got some guys pretty far back. I'm not sure what's going on there. Pretty hesitant, hesitant to move through this open field, and they start the. Now, if Phoenix does get in a firefight. I believe Red One, which is uh, Storm's uh, guys right there, they're probably going to be looking to flank Phoenix from the north. So those uh, three guys up in the north looks like Outlaw, Frederick, and Loopy. are going to be very important to stop Red One's uh, advance on Phoenix. Yeah, I see Loopy, Frederick, and Outlaw here. It looks like they're just pulling back. Yeah, right as I said that. Yeah, right as you said that. Okay, I got here. As soon as you hop to wall, push east and go to squad lead. We'll heal up with the medic. Oh, I thought that was intentional. I think they just went the wrong way. And yep. before they realized it, squad lead's calling them back. I thought that was intentional that they were across the street. I was like, that is good flank security to have someone on the other side of the street. <laughs> we just overthought it. Up on two, clear. Go ahead. So, wait, there was a kill? Yeah, there was a kill. Uh, Phoenix got contact. Yeah, who it was. Beware looks like is the one who went down. We, I completely missed it. I didn't even hear. I did too. I didn't hear it because it's a suppressor. It's a suppressor. Yeah. Too far away to hear the shot. <laughs> oh man. Wow, that was good. Good shot. Uh, who, who got that kill? You said Phoenix? Check. Uh, Phoenix is squad. It was Miyamoto. Like, uh, yeah, Miyamoto. No, I like this. Good Good shot. shots on Miyamoto. Super sneaky. Wonder if the insurgents are aware they've lost that one guy. Okay, tour east looks clear for now. Who are the SOs? Uh, BD, uh, Avernus. The uh, platoon lead for the U.S., we've got Silas with his Shadow Dwarf, because he's going through his command training, with his squad leads Razor, BVD Runner, and Phoenix. Copy. Continue for insurgents, we have platoon lead Alpha Guido with his squad lead. Squad 2 is holding our southeast, guys. Let's make sure we have eyes east, storm. north, and northeast. So a lot of experience on the squad okay, lead level. Um, um, not as much on the command level, but ooh, shots out. We got shots, Jay, JT BVD. Guns, takes out two. No, they're too far. Two of them wow. just got mowed down there from where, though? BVD's guys, uh, flanking from the south. Oh, I see. I was like, how did they get those sh Wow. Really Money solid. Money Man got flanking. two kills. That was all Money Man. Yeah, I see Money Man's little, uh, flank here. I was like, I, I, I was looking at, I was on Phoenix's guys looking east. I was like, there's no way they could have gotten shots on like that. But Money Man's got the nice flank down the alley. It was just beautiful. We're going to have to stay really low to hear any of this. Yep. All we hear is just ricochets. 
Really solid moving on uh, Silas' uh, part, getting his guys in a nice L-shaped ambush. Breach and charge down, check maps. With uh, blue one on the holding, west, uh, security blue staff. two on the south. Dashby, let's maintain yeah. eyes great, east northeast if you can. Charlie, okay. yeah. yeah. Just gonna draw this out so that you guys uh, understand. Whoops. Nice little L-shaped ambush here. Puts the red team ID. in a great kill zone. ID goes off. No kills. Was that an ID or is that a satchel charge? I believe uh that could have been a satchel charge. Because we got another guy down, actually. Beat even us. Ask all the questions you want. That's our job to uh to answer. What are the colors of the comp yeah. team? Blue means yeah. local, green yeah. means uh squad comms, which you're not gonna hear because there's nobody in our squad. And red means command comms. Well actually it's not red anymore, it's white. When did that happen? Ooh, frag out takes out uh doobie skew, BVD runner may bleed out, and he does bleed out. Spacing folks, I think he was healing them, so I guess you can, you can yeah. Uh, we need to take these Forgive him on north that. of us. But he does get, they both get taken out by a grenade. Update on kills. Three kills for the U.S., two for the Insurgents. What's the next move here? Oh, what do you think? Holding doorway. Um, on the just by looking at the map. Alright, moving. If two and one, if blue two and blue one can push red three simultaneously, I think they will get that compound fairly easily. And then they can just push north. Or, or do whatever, you know, flank west and uh, around red one. Yeah. But they, so but they need to take out these contacts first. Yeah. Yeah. Or over on red three, I should say. Yeah. Take care of the, these guys. It would be the full platoon against uh, one, two, three, five. Easy. I so. And then yeah. move to deal with the rest of the platoon. I think that's a good call as well. Um, ops today, it's crit. Uh, yes, today was supposed to be a post script op. Unfortunately, had some server issues, so we swapped it over to a squad op. Just a repeat of late yesterday's operation. Um, but it's it's a fun one. It is U.S. using special ops kits, and they're moving to the police station uh, this this round to destroy a fob in the area. Yesterday was to recover a a, a captain who got captured. Okay, let's try one northeast here. Can, can you How many that, players on uh, each side? It is a firefight level op, so about three squads east. per side. Yeah, about 25, 27 people per side. Okay, dead cow, keep moving. Northeast, I'll cover. I'll watch your six. To my... Two. So, he must have had uh, line of sight or elevation to do that. Uh, that was Now, if Raider's squad is not be. careful, they will lose a good portion of their Roof forces. Johnson. It's like Frederick and Loopy and his guys. Yeah. Pushing up yeah. uh, alone there. Yeah. Yeah, I'm watching the trio that went the wrong way. They're, they they like being out on the flank, and you can respect they do. that. It's yeah. just the space team they've got to be aware of, and this is not a good area to be out on the flank. They're taking shots at something. Oh, they take took out Jack 0800 who was on the roof. I don't even know how he got up there, but he he was up there and he just got domed by a couple shots. One nade. Oh, there's a nade. One nade on the... Uh... Oh, there goes one. There goes two. Oh. Th th that's a triple kill. Yeah. Great that's, we just grenade. talked about spacing. That's why you need spacing right there. Two grenades. Uh, another grenade lands on him just to make sure the bodies are dead. Spacing, folks. It's a thing, and that is something you will learn if you take your squad ops tactics and training. Basic course. A lot of fun. Only about 45 minutes to an hour long. And then after you take that, IED will go off. <laughs> um, the IED goes off. Doesn't kill anybody, but better safe I than sorry as they go to clear this building. But after you take our squad ops basic training course, then you can participate on any and all of our squad ops events. We host them on Wednesdays, twice on Saturdays, as well as Friday and Sunday. Post crypto events usual. All on the website, no, squad no, ops. Well, they, they placed a the breach just to try and clear us out. Uh, but we've retaken the position, so they're not going So there are to, no uh, light sources in these buildings. Here, and then wait that means the that's scary. Insanely, them, insanely uh, dark. Uh, yep. It gets just insanely dark in these buildings. Dude, over in the back it could be some crazy, crazy uh, insurgents in these buildings, and that the US have to be on edge as they move to clear. We got Patrick and Muffin. Say again?
Oh, no, no. Somebody on chat was asking, what's the big blue circle on the map? That's the fob radius. Um, that's just the, the build limit for, for the... Nothing to worry about there. We can actually disable that. Yeah. Got Patrick and Muffin Man doing 360 security here. Going around the buildings. I thought they were going to run into Dashby and his guys. But uh, fortunately, they did not. Oh, I see Patrick and Muffin Man now. They're over here by the river. Yeah, they were originally in the compound uh, on the inside of the building that they're up against. Are they moving to, to flank? Or are they... Yeah, I don't think so. Down. Yeah, they're just doing security. But if they do flank, though, they could definitely get the uh, the hop-up on lawn darts and that. Yeah, it's right. if they have some. They can. They, if they started to move, I think they'd be able to do it. I think they're more concerned about just right, defending their area, though. Yeah, yeah, now it looks, looks like blue, th blue three and blue two are pushing yeah, north very quickly. Blue three and blue two. Yeah, moving quickly through the north, just to the west of red one. And 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 changing tactics so quickly. Do you think they're trying to throw the insurgents off guard? Well, it sounds like them, it. Though. Yep. No, none of the insurgents were looking that way. Low fat lard uh, does get uh, taken out from liberal pundit. Well, look! Look at this. They are almost invisible in this. This. Uh... Get behind Grenades being thrown everywhere. Two One go down. down. Frag Ranger Two. and Ben W H. Spacing, gentlemen. Yeah, spacing <laughs> and starting to just massacre in the U.S. with these uh, frags. Watch out, three. There's a breacher charge. I Need believe. Cruiser. Sorry, go ahead. Uh, you guys post these on YouTube or anything? B BD Averis, we do post them on YouTube. They're uploaded uh, most Mondays or, or made public on most Mondays. And uh, Twitch holds them for a little bit. Go ahead, uh, cool. So it looks like roughly seven of the U.S.'s deaths have been from two grenades, or possibly three grenades. Uh, that's that's pretty. I can't stress it enough. Spacing is so key, and this is why, because they have lost seven guys, almost a full squad, for uh, reasons that shouldn't have been uh, happening. Yeah, and in these firefight-sized ops, one squad is literally a third of your team. Seven guys, exactly. is a quarter of your team. That is just a lot of guys. To go down to grenades for something as simple as spacing. Scrubbiest Maximus shooting at Dashby. Um, if tosses a grenade over this, this wall doesn't really take out anything. Dashby is in between a rock and a hard place, being Scrubbiest and Blackbeard. What's he going to do? I'm going to be asking a lot of questions, Comey Dave. I'll try and remember that. Looks like Money Man's gonna get in a firefight here. He's got three guys to that door. So Revy goes down to Patrick Star and the Muffin Man, who set up a nice little flank across the river to the east. These guys have been moving as a buddy very well. I'm not sure who's making this call for Muffin Man or Patrick to be on this flanks like that. But it's, it's really working out for them, allowing them to watch these outside walls that the U.S. are constantly trying to clear. Now Cyclone... <laughs> Somehow got that kill. Uh, I don't know if the stream caught it, but uh... oh, down goes Money Man. I'm behind you. I'm getting a rat. Fuck this. I'm putting a breacher charge down. Cyclones put down a breacher charge. It's Charlie not Hard enough. Bravo. So that's the thing. Is they're not the up. It, this this is an awkward building for the breacher charge. All right, breacher charge down. Back up. Back it, up back it's up. that they're not right up against the wall, so the breacher charge isn't going to kill them. They're actually right by a. All right, here. Um, I'm gonna ask Xbit to come onto my camera, and I'm gonna show where they're putting the breach of charge, why it's not effective, and where they should be putting said breach of charge. If you look, breach of charge right there. Boom, goes off. Blast radius is probably about that, so you're not gonna get anybody. What they need to do, vault this wall here, vault this wall here, and then put their ID against this wall. That might put this guy in range. Definitely not him. He's 
he's set. Like he's he's not going anywhere. But uh, they they need to vault some walls. They they can't keep trying to come into this 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 doorway here. It's not going to work. There's there's just the crossfire. It's just too good. Yeah, I would agree. I heard of all that. That's two. That's two satchel charges down on this wall. On this uh, this doorway. Yeah, on that same wall. Yeah. So looks like we got six kills for the U.S. and twelve for the insurgents. Insurgent this has really turned start. around very yeah. quickly. Do they know it where looks they like, are? Though? Uh, that's the thing, Dafter. I don't think they know where they are. It's so hard to see into this building. Look at this. Looks like. Blue is gonna keep pushing north out of there. Look at that. You can't see them in this building like at all. <laughs> actually, I think that's actually a full wall. The only one who can actually see is it. Yeah. I'm. I'm gonna give props to uh, insurgents for having the discipline uh, to, to not shoot when they don't need to. Like they're they're keeping very yeah, quiet, once three on. which uh, I think evens the playing field a little bit it when is, the U.S. is exactly sure. as quiet as they can be. Good. Moving. Yeah, the U.S. with the suppressor don't need to be as quiet with their guns or as All right, covering. tentative with their guns, I guess. Yeah. Um, because those silencers do help them and do make it a little bit harder for the insurgents to figure out which direction they are coming from. Insurgents having, or excuse me, the U.S. having to circle around. This is going to be their third angle they're going to try and come in at. And I don't know. Their south, that south push was as good as it could have been. Like, I think they should have kept all their guys on the south and continued to push in from that direction. Agreed. Now, I like what, uh, who is this? Uh, Blue One Phoenix. I like what he's doing. He's trying to get the high ground uh, on the on Palace, I believe. Um, so he um, might get a really good spot here to see literally everything. Yeah, and Phoenix, the POB we've got is actually the one who's got that greedy position in the mosque tower. Very greedy because uh, it, it is a very high and um, isolated point, making you very easy to spot. But it also offers amazing, amazing point of view. It's going to get him eyes onto police station and to that, uh, that village on the, uh, excuse me, that neighborhood south. Of Elevation is unfortunately not Please. high enough to get good eyes into. What are thoughts on night vision for spec on? on the I think that would be a very uh, difficult thing to mod in. No contacts that, and no visual but I could be wrong. I don't know anything about modding. Um, and I, night's such a, a tricky subject. What just blew up? What was that? Wow, that was at Maine. That was at, a. Uh... Interesting. If you look um, at the map right now, all the cameras <laughs> moving over there. Yeah, that was a uh, that was U.S. made. No. But um, not night is such a tricky thing for ops because if if it's too dark, people are just gonna boost their gamma. If it's too light, it might as well just be day. I think postscriptum does night well, and it's similar to this without the interior issues where they're like completely black. Um, but it's like you don't need to boost your gamma to see at night, and it does give you that 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 feeling that you are playing at night, and it's just. I really like how Plus Cover does their night. Phoenix getting shot at by Patrick yeah, Star. Really close. Yeah. Patrick Star almost takes out Phoenix. Update on kills 6 for the U.S., 12 for the insurgents. Still the same. No recent kills. U.S. got, a, or excuse me, INS have about a, uh, a 6 kill advantage. One, I want you to start maneuvering your guys to be ready to assault as well. Copy that. It looks like everywhere that they move to, these insurgents know where they are, which is not good. Understood. The, the insurgents have had really solid 360 security this entire yes. round. This may be the the angle for them to come in at come in at now, because there's nobody. There's actually no way for these guys to move east. 
or excuse me, yeah, yeah, east. Look, like there, there's this this wall on police station. The only person who may be able to spot this would be Sugheart looking down the 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 alley. No, even then he can't he can't actually lean out this window. Right. To east. You may have an opening here, and they've got a couple. I'm hoping they've got a couple more satchel charges ready to go. Now it looks like uh, blue two and three, and blue blue three may have no contact pushing in from the east side here, the northeast. Yeah, exactly. If they do, it'll be only be one, one or two guys. Sugar may be in position to spot this, but it's not likely. Imonis actually does spot somebody on the east, yeah. I'm There's Viper, Viper, I believe. Yep. The squad ops community where to boost in popularity and popul population would it be possible to increase the player limit per team from 40 to 50 or even higher through mods. Um, that would be a squad thing. Hawk goes down to I Money's. Uh, that would be a squad thing, Rio. Squad, uh, their goal is 50v50 servers. And I, I can tell you, I cannot wait for that to happen. Because having an entire extra squad per, per platoon allows you to do so much more when it comes to maneuvering. It definitely opens up the viability of two-pronged attacks. And leaving a squad behind would be a solid base of fire and still have an adequate assault. Like, just that extra nine people is going to be so, so useful. But that would definitely be a squad thing. That's me behind you. I'm holding your southeast one. Dude, you. I died so fast. Yeah, dude, I watched you get um taken out by that frag. Unfortunate um spacing. I looked like you were healing the squad lead when a frag landed right on your head. Where else are uh, people chatting? Um, Dave, people are chatting on uh, YouTube as well. Now, did they? Was the was the speed of the server just put up? Was that me? Is that just me? Looks like the uh, the smoke looks a smoke's bit really fast. Yeah, but it doesn't look like they're they're moving. Yeah. They're, they're they're getting sped up. Cyclone, oh, Cyclone goes down. And so does Sled Dev or Sled yeah Sled V. Is that who took those shots? I money's I money's has a yeah, very I'm solid put or angle down this uh alley and he's just picking them off. Takes out another I money's in such a beautiful position with Viper securing his flank. A ninja looks like he might get picked off here. By Pony. They're going at it. Yeah. Oh nin ninja, ninja what is he in? doing? What is hey, he doing? He's in here. That was the timing on that was amazing. Yeah, Pony had just pushed pushed behind that uh that corner to <laughs> he pushed behind the corner to reposition and misses Ninja Lucius jumping in to the police station and, and Ninja Lucius is in a very solid spot. If he can secure this, this will be the the foothold, the opening that the US have to get actually into the police station. Yes. Agreed. Pony's watching though. One nade would be, for either of them would. Oh, oh. No, she just gets up. Pony can't see. It's it's Pony so dark. See. Oh! <laughs> he goes Pony down. goes down. Wow. Great job, Ninjalicious. That was amazing. Yeah, that was great. It's okay, Guru. You're too far away. Update on the kills. 11 for the U.S., 16 for the Insurgents. U.S. Making a, making a go at it. Still about five kills behind, but there, there, there's, a sh there's, there's a shot. There's a shot. Viper... Goes down to Team kill. Rio. Unfortunate grenade didn't go far enough. Wow. Rio may no, he'll, he'll be fine. He just needs to find a medic. I'm camped by a usable ladder, and I have a pretty good coverage of it. If we, everyone can get to the ladder. Two, where's your ladder? I don't think two plays when you use the eastern ladder. Copy. Copy. We're gonna try yeah, to get yeah, one on. Holding the so it looks like they're getting blue one into the fight here. Yeah. Pushing from the east side. Can you see the left corner? If Ninja can hold his spot. To the back of the fire As you said, that that'll be the key to the, the push range. police station. From the main entrance. However, however, we got Patrick Star pushing Ninja. I don't know if Ninja here. 
Luckily, Ninja Lich just has squad comms. He, he's a fire team lead. So he's able to keep the... You, you just hear command comms going. Like he's able to communicate that they've got this foothold. Um, right. He can hold it. He does not know Patrick Starr is there, though. Oh, by the way, how long do each of our operations last? Um, most of our operations are about 45 minutes to an hour, 15 minutes long. They can be as short as 30, but they can go as long as like an hour. We try and keep it at about an hour length is, is our ideal. Per round, I should say. So it's two hours per session because we do, uh, we will be swapping sides and getting these guys to, you know, beat as the INS or the... Uh, U.S. You know, when we roll. Phoenix and his squad slowly clearing to the east side of police station. Very slowly. They are being meticulous with these building clearing. They don't want to get snuck up on. They're tired of getting picked off by grenades, so they're watching their spacing. So far, so good, even though he's down to five. Breaching charge down. Clear the area. Good stuff. So it's like red three, here? black. Say again. No, so like, what's the move here? ID oh, goes off. ID. Um, I mean, I, I would keep doing what they're doing. Uh, the only thing that would get in their way maybe is red three if they decide to push northeast, flank around Phoenix's guys. Uh, this is where spacing, three sixty security comes in play a lot. Uh, so far, it kind of seems like a stalemate, to be honest. The red team, the insurgents, definitely do have a, a bigger focus on their west side. Definitely seems like a stalemate, as in there's no real way to to efficiently defend your east uh, side right without being on like rooftops uh, and getting no. picked off from range. Try and go through this compound to ourselves. I think maybe yeah, if this red three element of Blackbeard and Scrubius, it's not really a, a full squad; it's just a buddy team. So pushed I'm east a so. little bit to look down the alley with Patrick Starr. I think that would be a pretty adequate defense for the east. Now Patrick here. Phoenix's guys are pushing Patrick. <laughs> he's gonna be in a. He's gonna be, he's gonna be very surprised. You're gonna play on this building toward northwest. Let's see what they're doing. You're gonna push up the alley, enter the doorway, and then go in. To the northwest, right? You said so. Hey, from Northwest. Northwest. Got me. Right on it. Miyamoto pushing in. Very nice breaching. Second room is not clear. Second room is not clear. Check your left. Clear. Check your left. Phoenix in this uh, room clearing. He, er, he's clearing That's out cool. a compound now with his uh, squad, Dead Cow, and Miyamoto. Oh, it wasn't me. It wasn't me. Let's clear this. Put a breach charge on this western wall as well. Breach charge set. Clear. Even though these small numbers, their clearing is actually very nice. It's pretty solid. It is. Um. Obviously, you'd like a, a couple more guys with you when you're playing these buildings. ID goes off. Oh, no, that was a satchel charge, I believe. That was a satchel charge, yeah. I'm moving down that Phoenix. Way. Yep, go west. Copy. Did Phoenix just go down? No, no, he's, no. he's still up. He's yeah. The graphic was wrong. Oh, he might go down here. Patrick. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, I'm, I'm watching. This be bad. Oh, he doesn't see him. Spotted. Ninja, you there he goes. Wow. He dives into a garage. Phoenix is okay. Wow. That was crazy. Yeah. Good, good presence of mind to just get off to the side as quickly as possible. He's okay. He's got a medic right there. Phoenix will live. Patrick Star's position is given away. Ninja is just now trying to help secure this uh, foothold even more. He knows exactly where he is. He's putting down his satchel charge oh, on no. top of the building. And he's running. He's running. That's after charge is placed. We should see. He hears it soon. though. Actually, he doesn't. He doesn't. 
He doesn't. He may go off here. Oddball. Oddball and possibly Patrick. Oh no. It is a timed satchel charge, about 20 25 seconds, and the time is ticking away. Take oh, got a hot ball. Good IED. You don't wow, see that often. It's so hard to be effective with those IEDs because you can you, you can hear it's a solid like thunk sound when it goes yeah. down. So if you're if you're paying attention, if you're listening for it, you can hear it and you know to get away. About 20 25 seconds later, it'll explode. It's like Blackbeard sees Ninja. Another oh, ID. An ID. Yeah, that was an ID. That wasn't a satchel charge, I believe. Ninja is still alive. Ninja has has been Ninja. very very good on holding this this these angles. Unfortunately, yeah. he's having trouble getting other people over the over the the fence wall onto this uh, into police station. Update on kills 13 for the US, 19 for the insurgents. So about six kill difference still. Insurgents have that upper hand because of a uh, defender's advantage. Oh, the timing! Wow, the timing in this game is amazing. One one person's peeking and the other one is hiding, and then the other one starts running away after peeking, and then the other one starts peeking. It's like the, the, it's like a it's like a song it's like a <laughs> you know they just, just go back and forth back and forth. They're smoking up the alley. They're gonna try and make a push for Ninja Licious here. Phoenix, Sebi V, Miyamoto, Londards, Silas, and Ninja. Only six remaining versus uh, Ninja might get Patrick here. Twelve. I don't think Patrick's. Ninja sees him. He he saw Patrick. He's yeah, just afraid to be him for too long. Yeah. Yeah, he's afraid to die. So it's six versus twelve. So about double the amount of uh, infantrymen left for the insurgents. We're down to four strong. Copy. This is the time to move for the U.S. Scrubbies and Blackbeard on the flank. Silas watching that flank though. Oh, he goes Takes down. Out Scrubbies. Scrubbies, yeah. yep. By command, one down. Roger. Gotta love that 360 security. It's important, folks. There's, it's just the little things. Spacing, 360 security that 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 really make the the operation run a little bit smoother for your squad. Make sure you're not getting snuck up on or dying to just one thing, like breath. Is someone holding that alley south? I can still place a ladder on this eastern wall. Yeah, yeah. Once the smoke fades, I can hold the alley south. I can try my best, too. Oh, Ninja Lich just gets one tap by Alpha Guido. Um, I advise me to Alpha Here's their foothold on the other side. Gone. It's not to say it's all- it's lost, though. We just lost our guy instead of Might have done yeah, that, I'm not sure, though. Please tell now. me Vcar is still up. Um, Dave? Is he, still, he is still up, take, to, taking side. over Oddball's no, position go on the uh, compound to the south. West aggressively. We're just going to have to use the western wall of the prison. Silas, why don't you bring that element north? You have to cross this alley at the Roger. smoke of the alley. Got you, and then cross. Hey, right here. Oh. Right north Looks like the Blackbeard may. Oh, Contact is definitely oh. west in the alley. <laughs> Blackbeard has a perfect angle. Yes. On, yes, on he does. Three of them. Okay. He's pushing. Oh no. Semi V he goes, goes down. down. He. <laughs> Oh. Blackbeard goes down though to Miyamoto, and then I wow. pushes Phoenix. So two U.S. down for two trade. That could have been so much worse if Blackbeard had held his position. Silas, Miyamoto, and uh, Sebi V would have gone down. Yep, that was a uh, timing. It's been a uh -huh. thing all, all game.
Uh, I'm on O's, or however you say his name, is pushing behind Silas and Miyamoto. Takes down Miyamoto. May take out Stylus here. Liberal Pundit coming to help. Laundart's coming in behind, though. Oh, he kicks out Imo. Wow. Neo, uh, the insurgents turning that switch to aggression and uh, pushing onto the U.S., just completely just wrecking their push as they try to reposition. Down from six to two. Not looking good for the U.S. It is not. Londard's pushing. Takes out Takes liberal. Takes out liberal. Copy, let's punch it west from here. Up to me. Charge goes off. Doesn't get any kills. 18 kills for the U.S. And 23 for the insurgents. I feel like it's been that the entire game. Like the the insurgents have maintained that five to six kill difference. Long yep. goes down to Cookie Wolves. That's a huge kill. Um, yeah. Oh, Alpha takes Guido out Alpha Guido. Guido. That's command, yep. right? I believe so. Yeah. Yeah. So command takes out command. Is there anyone else up on the U.S.? I don't believe so. Don't look like oh, it. Silas, Silas goes down. Goes down. Okay, just two up. Does. Two still have to complete the mission. Yeah, the, uh, you, uh, as long as you're alive, you have to try and complete the mission. And as attackers, it gets a little bit awkward as, uh, you know, you lose so many guys that he doesn't make a push viable. And and that's the decision from command that has to happen. I think the call to continue to reposition at first was fine. One reposition, maybe even two repositions, it's okay because you will you still still have the numbers. But by the time you get down to like that fourth, and as they yeah, tried to reposition everybody. with their last six guys, GG, you just don't have enough guys yeah, to on. make an effective spearhead into enemy territory. And if you it, it, the the command has to make a call, this is where we commit. This is the angle that's working so far. We just need to throw our guys at this to get into the objective. And that, I I think it was from the south. They had such an effective push from the south at the beginning, the uh, encircling squad three, red three in the neighborhood area. I think they they could have made a a a break for it there. Yeah, Pretty agreed. Easy. Yeah, definitely, I, I agree with that. I think. Uh, I mean, they're pulling out their guns now. Let's go fly over and check out the silence kits. They're a lot. Of, they're really cool. If you look. And they actually do work. They suppress very well. We actually missed the first kill of last round because of how far away we are from the suppressor. It's almost completely silent, and it's very hard to tell which direction it comes from. Great work. Uh, I believe Pony was the one who created this one. Uh, yeah, I believe so. So cool. Crossing. Turn to the west, I think. The Parson right, satchel charge. Um, I'm not sure I understand the reference, but it's a satchel charge. It's a satchel full of C4, has about the oh, same time. um time. explosion radius as an IED, and it's timed instead of having to call it. So it's about 20, 25 okay, second timer. Oh, off of live, blue 2, blue 4 moving west, northwest, blue 3 command, and blue 1 moving south into the mosque area. Red 2 and red 1 moving into police station from the southwest. Red 2 actually looks like it's in like a flanking ish position on the southwest. Gonna put them pretty far out of the action if they stay over there. Red 1 looks like they're gonna take a position west police station with red 3 on the proper with and. Who's closest? Red four? Excuse me, blue four? Yep, uh, looks like it. Now Guido, I don't know if Guido can see those three guys from where he is. Let me get over to him. He says no eyes. This is weird phrasing. Like, I've got eyes, but I've got no eyes. <laughs> Yeah, see, the, 
this is exactly what Phoenix did mid round last round. And Alpha, I think Alpha saw that. Um, I mean, I guess it kind of is a good spot to have an overlook. However, both of them see now that it's too high, and the insurgents are not dumb and they're not going on the roof. So, yeah, I don't think they're going to see anything from there. Good idea, though. That's where Alpha wants to command from too. Yeah, probably not going to work out for him. I mean, I don't know. I think the shooting aspect of it. I think you'll be able to see where they're shooting from, just not where their bodies are exactly. Phoenix, try to maneuver. So, Beware and Patrick Star actually have eyes on contact the hill contact, south right of left, police of station, taking shots at Dead Cow and Miyamoto. Dead Cow goes down from this long range fire, saying, If you're going, go, Boogies, tell them to push in, get moving. And that's two kills, four kills for the U.S., two kills for the insurgents as things kick off. Action really quickly. Do we go over insurgent kits total for this round? I don't remember. No, we did not. I'll do that right now. Yeah, let's go uh, ahead and click over the insurgent kits. You, know, we, you guys know what these, these guys have to defend. Yeah, so the insurgents have one SL, one med, and then platoon kits to get one scout, two ARs, two lats, and two raiders. Uh, last round, the I believe the raiders get um, IEDs. Uh, yeah, right um, I know, I know, the, yeah, I know the scout gets one. I believe they used the IEDs two or three times. Uh, did not get any kills. I, I don't think. Um, but you never know this round, it's, it's a totally different round. If they use them correctly, it sounds like an IED just went off. Yeah, Actually, it doesn't look like it took anybody out. No, but uh, Blue Team's about to cross on t uh, cross over into the um, police station. Real pro sitting there, ready to uh, mow down anybody who climbs over this uh, fence. But uh, he gets taken out by a grenade. Ben B pushes in, no problem. And this is he's got a foothold. Yep, oh, but, uh, BVD almost takes out Zabari, but, uh, gets killed. Almost takes out Zabari. Um, very nice idea. Ben B goes down to Sled V. This is definitely a, a solid push for the U.S. onto this, uh, this police station. Really, better really than good last hold. Yeah, yeah, much better than last round. Are any IEDs here to defend this? No IEDs here for the, uh, as a bait or something along those lines. If there is an IED on the, uh, what is it, Eastern Wall Police, that would be a huge kill. Or, yeah, huge couple kills, yeah. So they got about a squad into the police station now. Um, rest of the platoon, red one, or excuse me, blue one on the southeast, blue two on the north, red two and red one still outside the point on the west, red four only ones near to defend. And Miyamoto has actually got a good, good little crossfire onto B car, B car going down, Jack going at Hunter tagged. And they know where he's at. Miyamoto's tossing a frag. Oh no. Is it? Oh, too far. That would have been it. It would have been a tough shot to shoot. Sugar goes down by Cyclone, I believe. Oh no, they're getting picked apart. Oh no, they are. They need 360. Yeah. If you don't take the hill across the river, we can't go So Pony's saying they, they're not going anywhere with these guys on top of the hill. He is 100% correct, uh, meaning Blackbeard needs to take care of D-Leak and Miyamoto. Blackbeard's getting getting his guys in the know, making sure they're going to push in where they need to go. Now I think k needs to push his guys from the north down south, or southwest at least. Yeah. Blackbeard's always very, very off. concise with his... Uh, his orders, making sure his guys know what they're doing, and Blackbeard's Black moving off. Yeah, that IED went off. Kill anybody? No, it did not. They are so close to killing people, but none of them do. 
Nah, it's gotta be frustrating for these guys. Oh, uh, grenade kill. Hold on, hold on. I on, on Kingen. No, I don't even know where that. Is that a TK? I don't think it was. No, definitely not. If you see where Kingen is right now, he's way yeah. back there. I don't know who threw that. Maybe. <laughs> but what a grenade. Yeah, what a grenade. Wow. It landed right in front of him, too. So Mimoto and D-League pull back from that position on the hill. Gonna open up Pony Squad to continue their pressure on the east. And uh, Miyamoto, or not Miyamoto, uh, Blackbeard has essentially lost these guys. But being able to secure that south hill is going to open up the, this element that's in the actual police station, allow them yeah. to, to move a little bit more freely. Now, Jack, Jack 0800, if he can put on a satchel chart, definitely kill Cyclone. Is, is this an event? This is a multi. This is a one life event. Uh, Musket Ball. It is our multi cam stream. So we've got two commentators in the sky. Um, both me, Shadow Ritual, and uh, Total War HQ. And then we've got a, at least three cameras on the ground of just POVs as they play. Some of them might be dead, so they might not be on the ground. But uh, we have a couple. Oh no! Someone just got. Muff Man walks right in front of Muff or er, Best Pony as he's firing. Now, I don't know where he just got shot from. Got some. Uh... Oh no! Oh no! These IEDs are just taking people out. Alpha Guido is saying, "Stop the team killing." I'm good. I was just telling to get everybody out of there. And they even knew it was going down too. Moving. Best pony pushing up very hard, let me lead, let me lead. rushing it. He might, he might get the drop on uh, insurgents here. Yeah, I'm frag out onto Ninjalicious. Takes oh, that's Phoenix's frag. Takes out Ninjalicious. Team kills are doing so much this round. Helping out both teams. Seven kills for the US, ten for the Insurgents. Insurgents up by three. They're in the better position, I think. I think. Phoenix has that same angle that, uh, who had, who had that angle? Uh, iMoney's, I think, had this angle last round. It definitely cuts off a lot of the uh, insurgents and their movement. ID going off, going to help dig down this, this fob. And what, what happens when they dig down the fob in, in this situation? Money man going down to best pony. Total Dino. Do they do they switch to defense? Um, How's this work? I believe yeah, I believe they switch to defense. Let me check on the dock. I believe that is the um main objective. <laughs> IAD goes off. That was Zabari's own satchel charge. He didn't get out of the way in time. Goes Did he get down. A kill? He take he takes one out with him and the fob. But he goes down in in uh, exchange. Wow. I mean, he died for a cause. They're securing it. Jacko 800 goes down. Best pwn is the only one remaining in the area as uh, Dwarf Silas, Dubisky, Revy, and Athel inside police station. Blue team reinforcing now. Update on kills. 10 to 16 insurgents in the lead. U.S. do complete their objective now, so this may swap everything around. Enemies all around me, I'm gonna die. Dave, B-Car went down pretty early. He's been dead for a while. Machine gun, machine gun, 
bridge. I killed one. I'm gonna, Don't I'm expose gonna yourself any further north, Phoenix. Jacob, American yeah. suicide yeah. bombers OP. Northwest corner. <laughs> Phoenix sets his IED <laughs> down. We're gonna go down. We're down around here. Should see this explosion here soon. Phoenix gets domed by uh, somebody. IED doesn't take anybody out. So 11 kills for the U and 16 kills for the insurgents. Again, that again that five kill spread, same as last round. Seems about yeah average. The defenders' advantage is just really really in favor of the insurgents. Um, the U.S. are using their breaching charges much more effectively, in my opinion. The deception charges much more effectively. Right, We've heard more go off. We've, they've gotten slightly more kills, or at least injuries, and it's really given them that opening to push through a uh, police station really effectively. Right. A lot of communication. A lot of communication going on between Pony and Alpha. Two, I need you spreading out. All right. Count six. U.S. Now, versus going into the prison cell. Is it clear? No, negative. Nine no, insurgents. Have one guy cover the northeast side. So even though the insurgents are up, I need your other two about around four kills. The, uh, the side. Try to see if you can get one guy. They only have about the three now. people. There are contacts to my direct south. This doorway down here. There are contacts on the other side of this right now. The great communication by Alpha Guido to his guys in local. Alpha Guido making sure his guys are in the know. They they just, as as much information as he has, they now have, and that's really going to help everybody be on that same page. We're going to try and push these guys. Best Pony has the angle. Oh, he's going to try and push him. He didn't see a thing. You don't. We don't need to use pine cones, mate. Our objective is just to hold this part of the compound. We are sitting tight. Hold angle. One time dead. Uh, Tony, I want you on. I want you to take secure control of that door. Do not look out. Now, if they had a satchel charge, they can just put it down on that door. Oh, pony just <laughs> pony just killed him. <laughs> Pony's reaction is hilarious. I'm prone looking at it the second they peek the doorway. Oh boy, two watch your six. Hi, Munz. Yeah, Ali, way behind yeah. you guys. Watch out. You good? Really yeah, good communication. Nice. I've been yeah. really impressed with the communication for the US so far. Imo gets one kill. Cycling Meg. Great angle. Great angle. Copy. I hear one moving same door right now. Another one pushing that doorway that Pony's looking at. Don't do it. It's just sit tight. Still nine. I guess I miscounted for the the insurgents. The insurgents now have nine versus the five for the U.S. Defenders advantage in favor of U.S. now as they just need to hold their position and wait for the insurgents to push them. Yep, I'm waiting. Don't worry. Looks like a doobie scoop. Watch out. I think they're putting frag out. Doesn't look like he wants to peek that. Yeah, he might though. He shouldn't. He should, but is his uh, curiosity gonna get the better of him? I, I mean, <laughs> frag out from Cookie Wolf onto Londarts goes a little bit far. Londarts is a okay. Was that friendly Still or negative? negative enemy presence north northeast potentially. Yeah, they hear Londarts crawling on these yeah, rocks. Yeah, the wall. You hear him. They're hugging the wall. I can hear him hugging the wall. Yeah, every time Londarts steps on these rocks on the west, it's just it's loud. Yeah, I hear him now. Oh, yeah, they're on the rubble pile on the It'd corner. It'd be risky, but I really think we should use a breaching charge. Oddball saying that no, we should use a, they should use a breaching no, charge. That's how Zabari died. Oh, Lunar <laughs> takes out Cookie Wolf. Dubisku gets the better of Pony. He gets Pony. Wow. Alpha Guido. Yeah, oh, great bad. shot. <laughs> Guido gets the double kill. Triple kill. Alpha you know, Guido. Oddball gets one. Guido gets two. Crossfire from Alpha Guido and Oddball was amazing. I Money's gets Londarts as he bolts over. Wow. Great, great communication. Great crossfire. They they did lose two, but they took out four. That's value. Oddball I Money's gonna try and push Hawk and Groot. I Money's goes down. Oddball takes out Hawk. Oddball gonna actively push Groot. Who's gonna get the better of him here? He's gonna try and bandage. Hawk's gonna get him. I know, I'm putting in fucking charge. Oddball, what are you doing? He's trying to put a charge down. Goes down to Hawk. Guido, uh... Alpha if they're throwing Guido. grenades, if there's if there's smokes for grenades, Alpha would be dead. Right. 
<laughs> the amount of smokes, dude. Revy is alone oh. here. One yeah. versus four. Command versus the world. I'm so lonely. Alpha Guido, uh... Mr. Lonely. Hey, well, we're nearing the uh, end of round two. We've been live for about an hour and two hours and 30 minutes. Wow. Yep. Nearing uh, that two hour live time or two and a half hour live time. Guido. Alpha uh... Guido getting pushed. He can't see him. He doesn't see him. He doesn't know where he is. He's looking the wrong He's direction. Shooting. Oh, no. <laughs> He did down. not see Dwarf or Groot and uh, that angle, unfortunate. Insurgents managed to retake the police station. They did lose their objective, so it's a, uh, a tough, so it's technically it's a, a tie. Good, a good try. From the U.S. completed it's their objectives, Insurgents managed to kill all the U.S. Nice try for the U.S., though. Managed yeah. to bring it back. Good job, everybody. Good rounds um, on for sure both teams. If you guys are interested no, in participating in these events, check us out. SquadUps.gg. All you do is sign up on the website. Take our basic training ping. course. Only about 45 minutes to an hour long. Then you can participate in any, any and all of our Squad Ops online boring. events. I was your commentator for this evening. Shattered Ritual with Total War. Great job, Total War. Um, and behind the scenes was x -Bit. So if you guys liked what you saw, give us a follow at twitch.tv forward slash squad off. We would really appreciate it. We also upload all of our videos onto YouTube, youtube.com forward slash squad option. And until Wednesday, we will catch you all later.